If you take a regular pentagon and fold the vertices into the center, you'll get a smaller regular pentagon. But what might surprise you is that the ratio of the side lengths between the original pentagon and the smaller pentagon turns out to be the golden ratio. If you've never heard of the golden ratio before, it's usually introduced through what's called the golden rectangle. This rectangle is special because if you cut out a square from within it, you get left over with another similar golden rectangle. It's famous not only for its mathematical properties, but also for its artistic properties, with many artists believing that somehow this ratio has a naturally pleasing aesthetic appeal. Now, the golden ratio turns out to be 1 plus the square root of 5 divided by 2. We can find the golden ratio by using a quadratic equation, which comes from the golden rectangle. Here's how that works. Because the rectangles are similar, they must have side lengths in the same ratio. So that means a plus b divided by a must be equal to a divided by b. We can divide the left hand side through by a and we'll have one plus b over a is equal to a over b. Now a over b is our golden ratio. We're gonna use the Greek letter phi to represent that and the left hand side will then be one plus one over phi. Multiplying through by phi will get phi plus one is equal to phi squared and then we can use the quadratic formula to solve this quadratic equation. Uh, we will get two solutions, but we're looking for the positive one, which is one plus the square root of five over two, our golden ratio. So that explains where the golden ratio comes from and what its value is in terms of the golden rectangle. Um, but it does not explain why we get the golden ratio with folding our regular pentagon. Now, the golden rectangle does not necessarily appear in a regular pentagon, but the golden triangle does. Yes, and where it appears is if we join the vertices uh, in this five-pointed star, which we call a pentagram, this triangle here turns out to be the golden triangle, and it's similar to this little golden triangle here. Both are isosceles triangles with angles of 72, 72, and 36 degrees. Just like the golden rectangle, where we cut out a square to get a similar rectangle, with the golden triangle, we cut out this isosceles triangle to be left over with the similar golden triangle down the bottom here. The similar triangles again give us this ratio a plus b over a is equal to a over b, which then give the same quadratic equation and the same golden ratio which we had from the golden rectangle. So now we know where the golden ratio appears in a regular pentagon, but still it doesn't explain why it appears in our folded regular pentagon and why this side length and this side length should be in the golden ratio. Can you see the golden triangle hiding in there? I certainly couldn't uh, for a long time. Feel free to pause the video and have a play around, have a look for it yourself. Otherwise, I'll explain what I think is the easiest way to prove it. And it's rather than looking at this side length and this side length, is to look at the distance from the center to the vertex of the smaller hexagon and the larger hexagon, and show that those are in the golden ratio. Because when we fold a vertex to the center of this regular pentagon, we must create an isosceles triangle, okay? Because these two distances must be equal. And then we can work out that this angle in here is gonna be 36 degrees because, well, we've got 360 degrees in the center, uh, one fifth will be 72, and then half again is 36. Now this triangle is actually part of the golden triangle. It becomes more obvious if we construct another golden triangle down the bottom here with angles 72, 72, and 36, and then we'll form the golden triangle which we saw before. So now we have the distance from the center to the vertex of the smaller pentagon being say A. In the larger pentagon, the distance from the center to the vertex is A plus B. As this is a golden triangle, this ratio must be phi or one plus the square root of five over two, our golden ratio. Isn't that nice?